Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an intriguing topic that will surely pique your interest. We're diving deep into the highly anticipated Galaxy S23 Ultra and shedding light on some crucial aspects that you should consider before making your purchase. Now, hold on tight, because this isn't a video aimed at bashing the phone. Rather, we're here to ensure you make a well-informed decision and avoid any potential drawbacks that may not have been discussed enough. So, if you're ready to embark on this informative journey with us, don't forget to show your support by liking and subscribing. Without further ado, let's delve into the key reasons why you should hold off on purchasing the Galaxy S23 Ultra if you haven't already. Design The Galaxy S23 Ultra, although undeniably gorgeous in design, finds itself caught in a paradoxical situation. Its striking similarity to its predecessor can be viewed as both a blessing and a curse. On one hand, the continuation of the captivating design is a positive aspect, as it maintains the allure that drew people in initially. However, on the other hand, the absence of noteworthy updates or unique features leaves potential buyers longing for something fresh and innovative to captivate their senses. While it is true that iPhones have also faced criticism for their consistent designs, it is essential to acknowledge that this predicament can impact the device's desirability and the sense of exclusivity associated with owning the latest model. For individuals who take pride in owning a cutting-edge smartphone that stands out from the crowd, the lack of novelty in design might dampen their excitement. The ability to showcase a device with distinctive aesthetics and standout features has always been a source of pride for tech enthusiasts. Thankfully, Samsung has attempted to address this concern by introducing an array of captivating new color options. By infusing a burst of vibrancy and personalization, the company aims to alleviate the potential disappointment felt by prospective buyers seeking that extra touch of individuality. The availability of these new colors provides an opportunity to inject excitement into the device and allows users to express their unique style and preferences. While the design continuity of the Galaxy S23 Ultra might not be a deal-breaker for everyone, it remains a valid consideration for those who crave innovation and originality in their smartphone experience. The lack of significant visual updates could potentially affect the device's appeal, particularly for individuals who take pride in owning the latest and most distinctive technology. Battery When it comes to the comparison between the Galaxy S and Galaxy S series, an intriguing discovery emerges. Despite the hefty price tag associated with the former, it fails to offer a significantly better battery life than its more affordable counterpart. The culprit behind this disparity can be attributed, in part, to the S Pen Solo nestled within the S23 Ultra, consuming valuable space that could have been utilized to accommodate a larger battery. For potential buyers seeking an extended battery life as their primary concern, Alternative options emerge as compelling contenders. The iPhone 14 Pro Max, Red Magic 8 Pro, or even a mid-range Galaxy A-Series phone might pique their interest until the battery test results for the S23 Ultra become available. It's essential to consider these alternatives, as they may offer a superior battery performance without the trade-off of a higher price. This revelation poses a potential predicament for prospective buyers who prioritize a long-lasting battery above all else. Investing in a flagship Galaxy S model might not necessarily guarantee the desired battery longevity, making it imperative to explore other avenues for a more satisfying power experience. By considering alternative smartphone options renowned for their impressive battery life, potential buyers can make an informed decision that aligns with their specific needs and preferences. Features Investing in an expensive flagship device often includes the allure of premium features, However, the reality is that many of these features are overhyped and fail to significantly enhance the user experience. Samsung's bragging about 8K video recording capability is unnecessary. Most people can't distinguish between 4K and 8K. Similarly, the 200 megapixel resolution camera consumes storage space, introduces shutter lag, and is often undermined by compression on social media and messaging apps. This poses a potential problem for potential buyers who desire meaningful improvements in their user experience. It's important to question the true value of these features and consider whether they genuinely enhance practical usage or are merely marketing tactics. Charging speeds. Although the Galaxy S23 Ultra shows a modest enhancement in battery life with its new chip, 
Samsung's decision to stick with a 45 watts charging speed feels disappointingly conservative. At a time when other Android manufacturers are pushing boundaries with 100 watts or higher charging capabilities, this choice could leave potential buyers feeling frustrated. Adding to the frustration, Samsung continues the trend of not including the charger in the box, repeating the disappointment of the previous model. This omission poses a potential inconvenience for buyers who expect to receive all the necessary accessories with their premium flagship device. These factors combine to create a potential problem for prospective buyers. The limited charging speed and absence of a charger in the box may leave users yearning for more convenient and advanced charging solutions, ultimately impacting their overall satisfaction with the device. Value One potential drawback of purchasing a Samsung phone, whether mid-range or flagship, is its significant loss of market value within just a few months of ownership, amounting to nearly a third of its original price. In contrast, iPhones tend to retain their value remarkably well over time, making them a more cost-effective choice if you plan to sell your phone after a few years. To their credit, Samsung does offer a redeeming aspect in the form of a good trade-in value when upgrading to a new Galaxy phone. However, this still poses a potential problem for potential buyers who prioritize long-term value and resale potential. The rapid depreciation of Samsung phones may leave buyers feeling hesitant about investing in a device that could lose its value so swiftly. Now that we've delved into the drawbacks of the Galaxy S23 Ultra, it's time to assess whether the device still holds value. If you're in the US and have pre-ordered the phone with the added bonus of a $50 in-store credit or received a free pre-order offer like extra storage or Galaxy Buds, you might find a better deal. In our opinion, if you already own the S22 Ultra, it might be wise to skip the S23 Ultra. While the newer model boasts a better chip and improved camera system, it is more of an incremental refinement rather than a revolutionary upgrade. However, if you're using a much older Samsung model, the S23 Ultra should definitely catch your attention. So, after considering all the points discussed, will you still be considering the purchase of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra? Let us know in the comments if you think we were too harsh, but remember, it's all in good humor. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe on your way out. We'll catch you in the next one.